Okay guys, welcome back. We are going over NCLEX style questions for the disease process, acute renal failure. And as you're going to see within each question, there are multiple questions to be asked. A lot of people ask me, how can the NCLEX exam determine whether you are a competent nurse in 75 questions? And the truth is that each question, you need to know so many different things in order to answer that one question that you're really not just answering 75 questions. So this first question is one of the dreaded selects all that apply, but the more you do them, the better you will get. And this is determining on whether you can detect the location of the failure. So let's get right into it. Which of the following conditions are possible causes of pre-renal acute renal failure? Select all that apply. A, severe burns. B, severe vomiting. C, hemorrhage. D, cardiogenic shock. E, calculus, or F, prostatic hypertrophy. Select all that apply questions are some of the most difficult questions to answer because you're not just answering one question. In actuality, it's multiple questions. This particular question can be confusing because not only does it ask for location-specific causes, but it also includes terminology which you may or may not have been exposed to. Pre-renal refers to renal failure due to interference with the renal blood flow. A word that you will commonly see in place of blood flow is called perfusion. So when you see the word pre-renal, think about things that can cause low blood volume or decrease the blood flow. And the first option, option A, severe burns can cause damage to the blood vessels which may cause fluid volume loss. And this medical term is hypovolemia, which may lead to renal failure, making this answer option correct. B, severe vomiting. Again, when you're looking at this answer option, think about ways that the body can lose fluids and vomiting would definitely be one way to do that. This loss of volume through vomiting can also disrupt electrolytes, which can lead to further damage. C, hemorrhage. Since we have gone through how fluid volume loss can cause hypovolemia, then once you understand the word hemorrhage, you will see how this answer option is also indeed correct. The word hemorrhage means a profuse loss of blood. D, cardiogenic shock is when the heart is unable to pump enough blood to the organs. The word shock in medical terms means that the organs and tissues are not receiving adequate blood flow thus adequate oxygen. Since this is cardiogenic shock, you can break down the word cardio, of course meaning heart, and genic means beginning from, just like the word genesis. E, calculus in the body. Calculus means a concentration of solids. Usually this is from mineral salts. This can be caused from an obstruction in the kidney, but remember, this would not be a cause of pre-renal failure, which is what the question is asking for. Option F, prostatic hypertrophy. Now this option I think is a little more difficult because they try to trick you by leaving out the word benign because you usually see those together, BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. This disease process can cause blockage of the ureters due to an overgrowth of prostate tissue. But this again would not be pre-renal, it would be post-renal, making the final answer options A, B, C, and D. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that question. So we're going to post another question as soon as we're done editing it. And so make sure you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and also sign up for email updates. You can sign up below. So anyways, we can't wait to see you again soon. Love you. Bye.